ki khubor ka bate si tv lawan rashapi da ka frank motors booking open for the new nexon visit frank motors or call 7045207973 MIT University of Meghalaya our admissions are now open for the academic year 2024-25 explore our best courses experience global collaborations apply today Mintri Rangba ke Jilla Konra Konkal Sangma haka nyotri kulber ar char pusao ringkal ke jingsa khilang jagi mintri sarkar ke bikinthop ek doctor Amprin Lingdo pur Marcus and Marak plus sa me kishithi thongkam shiki sauspa ar pusan ngut ki junior specialist ki medical officer Baki dental surgeon haka jingalang gula long haste convention center shilong kiban ai jing shakri haki jaka ai jing sumar ba pher pher jong ka jela haga ni ga jok sngi u mintri rangba ola plat pat ba ek climate adaptive community based harvesting project na kabenta ke lai pun riot le kishnong ki ba hap hap ke pratli ki community and rural development block jong east khasi hills district haka jingot ka bakot lai pusau point ar pusan klor tingka in our dedication to safeguarding our natural resources and ensuring a sustainable legacy for future generations this project aims at constructing 532 water harvesting structures and small multipurpose reservoirs across our state this stands as a testament to our unwavering commitment to addressing the challenges posed by climate change and securing water sources for our communities the project at ambit is extensive covering approximately 350 hectares of bondage area 2500 hectares of common area and 12500 hectares of catchment area through this endeavors our objective is to enhance our water reservoirs and alleviate the impacts of the unpredictable weather patterns and windy rainfall on our agricultural practices and livelihoods the advantages of this endeavor are manifold and reach far and wide beyond contributing to water resources conservation it promises to enhance the lives of around 72000 individuals residing in the catchment areas key aspects of this initiative include catchment catchment area treatment common area development and the promotion of agriculture based livelihood activities and fisheries in the first phase of the project we have finalized 36 water harvesting projects in these casillas laying the foundation for subsequent expansion and replication throughout the state this undertake transcend mere infrastructure development they embody our commitment to sustainable progress community empowerment fortifying resilience in the face of climate change as we unveil the climate adaptive community based water harvesting project today let us simultaneously lay the groundwork for a brighter and more sustainable future with great sense of responsibility we hand over these important appointments to all of you you today are joining the government as full fledged officers of the department of health honorable cm sir we as a department understand that in our state we still have huge challenges towards the filling up of these vacancies due to various problems the most important sir being the fact that we have access our doctors have access to limited numbers of posts through programs of need and other appointments on the cm sir we feel that government must now embark on special provisions to increase the numbers of qualified candidate candidates especially of specialists dear doctors we find it very difficult in the one year that i have served as health minister becomes impossible for me to attend to your requests of 
principles and postings. It is such a big hurdle, even for my colleagues and the Honorable Chief Minister himself in the Cabinet. The point here is, we send you somewhere, please go with that sense of security and responsibility. I wish today to send this one message to all doctors in our systems. Be there for the patients. Do the needful and let us together change this ugly perception that citizens of the state of Meghalaya have about our institutions. Climate Adaptive Community Based Water Harvesting Project. 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 Honourable Chief Minister, And that was the only decision that actually was our work. 
where we have uh, ensured that process moved very fast. Before your exams and your selection was done, it would take anything from two to three years to sometimes even five years before we could recruit doctors. There are some recruitment processes which have been in the pipeline for six, seven years in different departments. And therefore, the need to have a recruitment board was very, very urgent. And we took that political decision in order to ensure that uh, you know, this kind of recruitment can happen quickly. And I thank the officials, our principal secretary, our commissioner secretary, and others who had worked tirelessly to make this happen. And because of that, you all are here today in a record time, I should say, we have been able to recruit so many doctors and fill up almost all the vacancies that are there. And uh, this, in fact, is part of our entire process of working towards transforming the health sector the use of the Jal Shakti or the Jal Jeevan mission. And hence, until unless you don't have a full master plan based on water at the center of this plan, you will never be able to succeed in actually uh, resolving these issues and these problems. And hence, Meghalaya is one of the first few states that has started working on multiple fronts in terms of water conservation. So what we are seeing today is just one part of the larger or one chapter of the larger book or the story of water in Meghalaya. And we have been doing this through many, many departments. Today we are doing through soil conservation. We have another project going on with water, with water resources. PhD department is doing its own different projects. And therefore, uh, if you club all of these works together, the water related projects in the state of Meghalaya in the last five years, in the next coming five years, will touch almost close to 8,000 to 9,000 crores worth of projects will be implemented or were implemented and are going to be implemented uh, in the state of Meghalaya only related to water. That's a huge amount. And that's the kind of money, if we spend it in the correct way and we really work towards uh, you know, ensuring that the different departments talk to each other and they don't duplicate their efforts and whatever work is being done in soil conservation, water resource and PHG should be aware. This kind of thing is very important for us to be able to ultimately resolve, uh, not resolve, but at least minimize the water crisis, which is 100% going to come in the next 15, 20 years, and we need to be prepared for it. Apart from all of that, what is also very important, which I would like to share with you, is that our government works on certain principles. And we believe in ensuring that those principles are there throughout the different departments and activities that we do. And one of the principles for us is community participation. We believe that if Meghalaya, in fact, Meghalaya's, one of Meghalaya's you know, biggest strength is our community, the community ownership, the community network that we have. How can we use this community network, this community leadership, this community ownership with the development projects so that things become sustainable in nature and there is all across participation and kind of a stakeholder approach from all angles. This principle has been applied to health, this principle has been applied through MGNRAGS programs, we have applied it to environmental related issues and now we are doing another step where we are doing it with a community uh, of putting up these reservoirs.